Good afternoon, Pokesports. It's your host, Mike, and I play with two Pokemon on the field. Today, my friends, we are going to be using team number three, which, of course, consists of a Talonflame, a, ki a Kilowattro. That's not a Kilowattro. No, no, no. That's a Bramblegast. A Talonflame, Bramblegast, Tyranitar, Iron Bundle, Sylveon, and Great Tusk. This team was brought to us by one Dr. Drusel uh, in our Discord. In our Discord, we have our rental codes chat uh, where you can go and drop your rental code and Poke Paste. If I see it and I like it and I want to try it out, I'll drop a little roller face and uh, you might see it on the channel because it you know what? These these teams are really cool and everybody's so creative. So uh, I'm going to take this team into the into the dance floor real quick. This uh, Bramblegast has Wind Rider, which is not an ability that I use too often because it is only it's a signature ability of of Bramblegast. I've never used a Bramblegast in my life, and so I'm I'm excited to do that. Uh, I'm going to really try and leverage that on the first couple of games that I I play. Uh, hopefully, I can I can make that work. And if not, we do have some really good uh, Pokemon that we can bring in the back. We've got the Iron Bundle and the Great Tusk uh, that also serve as wonderful leads. So, uh, by the way, let's go and give it a try. Let's see what we can do, uh, and let's go and have some fun. Come with me to the dance floor. Let's go. OK, and first up here, we've got Miles and Miles. Miles and Miles is going to be bringing the Pelipper. And immediately I'm thinking, OK, wait a second. Wind Rider, can I take advantage of this? Maybe, maybe, just maybe. Well, what I'm going to do is I definitely need to I need to bring the Tyranitar here. Uh, I almost feel like I need to lead with it, but there is the chance that the Pelipper leads. And if the Pelipper leads, I really want to bring Bramblegast first. I think that just makes sense. And if I'm bringing that, I can bring the Talonflame as well uh, to go and set up Wind Rider. <laughs> it's, I'm, it, it's all just trying to set up Wind Rider. That's that's my my only thing. Let's get green going there. There we go. Um, in the back, of course, we need to bring Tyranitar. And then what's the last one here? I feel like it's going to be Iron Bundle or uh, or Great Tusk. However, there's quite a few Mons here that are weak to Fairy. And with all the Fairy weakness, I feel like that's going to be Sylveon's territory right there. Mm. You know what? I think that's actually what I'm going to do. <clears throat> I need to think about that real quick. Iron Bundle, Iron Bundle. Ugh, I like Iron Bundle more. I almost brought Sylveon. I was I was this close to bringing Sylveon. And then I saw the Amoongus and I was like, ah, no, I, I do want something that can deal damage to the Amoongus and the Dragonite. It does four times damage to the Dragonite. It, it only makes sense. So anyway, I realized that before the game starts, it's it's a very um, it, I guess it's a, a subconscious thing that happens is whenever the music dies down before the music comes back up. I'm always like, OK, and quiet. But that's like the time where I should be talking. Anyway, Baxcalibur is going to come up first. Uh, with Baxcalibur up first, I feel like Terrastalizing is probably my better bet here. And if I'm going to do that, then I might as well go for the Bullet Seed. They're not going to attack. They're not going to attack here. Yeah, I'm just going to go for Bullet Seed on the Palafin. Uh, they might flip out. They might switch. Yeah, Tailwind is probably my my best move to go for here. And that'll trigger my, my Wind Rider. If they switch the Palafin, then I am in great shape. Because then I get Bullet Seeds off on, on whatever comes in. Which I assume is going to be Pelipper. No, it's going to be Iron Hands. Okay. That's fine. Iron Hands still does not want to take this Bullet Seed. I kind of want to keep the Bramble Gast alive, though. Regardless, I just don't want it to get hit with Icicle Spears right now. So we're a Terra Fire, which is going to really protect us against that ice. And now that the Tailwind is up, my Bramble Gast should be hitting those Bullet Seeds right quick. Here comes Wind Rider. I do have loaded dice, so that's going to hit at least four times. That's pretty good damage on the Iron Hands. If I get one or two crits, then maybe. I mean, highly doubt, I highly doubt that. Would be nice though. Would be nice. Okay, that's fine. So next turn I could, ooh. Well, here's that Icicle Crash. Not going to do all that much damage, bringing me down to the nice HP. We're going to 
go for an I could go for another bullet seed actually. Hmm. If I go for a bullet seed on the iron hands, uh, that's probably going to be just fine. I feel like I need to go for a brave bird as well. Because one's going to, it's either going to fake out, it's going to fake out. It's either going to fake out or it's going to protect. It's probably going to fake out Aurora, meaning I should probably swap that out actually. I don't hate this. Let's swap out into Tyranitar and let's Brave Bird the Iron Hands. Yes, because if it fakes out the <clears throat> Talonflame, I still outspeed it because I'm, on t I'm in Tailwind, but I don't flinch because of Covert Cloak. There we go. So it's going to fake out that, which is what we expected. But here comes that priority. Oh, it's not going to do enough. To be honest, it doesn't have to. Ooh. Ooh, that's not great for them that they that they went and did that. They're gonna start taking extra damage. Well, next turn anyway. I feel like I really need to uh, attack the, ooh. Okay, I got it. I have Icy Wind on this Iron Bundle, so I'll be able to take out the Iron Hands if it doesn't have a Protect or anything like that. If it flips into another Pokemon, then it's about to get hit with an Icy Wind. And then I can just low kick. Is it low kick or rock slide? <clears throat> I think it's definitely low kick, right? Yeah, it's it's got to be low kick. Uh, we're going to hit a freeze dry on the two of them. He can't protect here. Uh, if he protects with the Iron Hands, then uh, it just goes down to sand. I never think about that. No, it just goes down to sand if uh, if it protects. If it's at low HP, why go for a why go for a protect? You know, Excalibur will though, and that's fine. It's still the Iron Hands is still going to go down here. So Icy Wind gets protected, and Iron Hands goes down. Goodbye. Wonderful. We're all feeling very bonita. Iron Bundle is going to take some damage from the Sandstorm. That's all right, but at the same time, it's kind of not. Because that is my focus, Ash gone. But, you know, it's okay. Now, what are they going to flip into? Is this going to be Pelipper? Get rid of the sand. They don't want to do that because there's uh, Tailwind still up. Yeah, they was, they're going to have to do it, but hey. Uh, what I'm going to want to do right now is go for a Rock Slide. How many turns do I have left in Tailwind? I feel like it's just one. Yeah, it is. Uh, if I go for a Rock Slide here, that'll be super effective damage on both. Unfortunately, I do have Freeze Dry and not Blizzard, but that's okay. I can go for a Freeze Dry on the Pelipper. Uh, the scary thing here is I fear a wide guard coming, but still, it's okay. If it's a wide guard, then Pelipper goes down by itself. Hello. Forgot about Terra. That's on the back Scalibur. Okay. I don't hate that it's poison, but I'm not the biggest fan of it, you know? It wouldn't hit me with a wide guard. Oh, it's just gonna, just gonna take it. Yeah, it's going to go down to Focus Sash. And then my Tyranitar should be able to take it out with a Rock Slide here, barring a miss, which it does, thankfully. We're in a good position. And then here comes the Glaive Rush. Yeah, that's pain. Oh, but the mm, scary thing is now I have... <laughs> Now I have this uh, fire type Bramble Ghast up against the Palafin with Jet Punch. Yeah, yeah, that's not that. That's not great. Well, this is my one chance to do damage to the two of them. Uh, I am going to protect. 
because I'm almost certain that it's going to go for a jet punch on the Bramble Ghast. I think it only makes sense. Now, hopefully they get cocky and they go for attacks here and I get a rock slide off. No, so I'm not going to be able to get a rock slide off on the back scalloper. Do I get a rock slide off on the Palafid? Yes, I do. Do I get to hit it? Maybe. Maybe, maybe. That's one protect. And? Good, okay. Palafin, that's not too much damage. That's not a lot of damage at all. Uh-oh. That's no good. I'm gonna have to try and take that out <laughs> somehow. How am I gonna do it? Oh gosh, here we go. I'm gonna have to shadow sneak. Just do some damage. Yeah, it's a little bit of damage. And here comes the jet punch on the Bramble Gas. That's going to take it out. Bye bye, Tumbleweed. How I would have liked for you to not have been Terrifier. Why would I Terrifier into a into a Palafin? Not sure. Painful Glaive Rush. Yeah, that's not enough. That's close, though. It was very close. That's going to be one jet punch and that's over. Mm, my problem there was seeing how much rain there was, seeing a palafin at the very beginning of the game and still choosing to terrify her. Why would I terrify her into the thing that's going to take me out? I could have just protected. I could have just protected. And that's, you know what? That's what I'm going to do. That is exactly what I'm going to do next time. I'm not going to think about uh, terraying into the water. <laughs> I am going to do this better next time. OK, I got excited about seeing a uh, seeing a back scalper and I just didn't want to die. So short sighted solution for a long term problem. Yeah. So what we're going to do is we're going to go into game two. Uh, we're going to think a little harder next time, but everyone needs a warm up game. Let's go. All right. Next game is up against Lila Cole. All right. You know, I realized in between matches there that my big problem was looking at a Backscalibur and not having a solution for it, <laughs> right? Uh, Tyranitar is not a good solution for uh, for the guy. Iron Bundle is not a good solution, uh, but the Sylveon was probably a better solution. The Great Tusk was probably a better solution. So looking at this now, same kind of thing. Do I make the same mistakes? Uh, let's start ruling things out. I'm not going to be bringing the Sylveon. I'm looking at the team and I'm like, ah, it might be, might be a, a ca catastrophe if I if I bring that. Uh, however, if I bring the Iron Bundle, that's better. Now, Sylveon does really well against the Dragonite. Do I have ways of getting rid of the Dragonite if I don't bring Sylveon? Yes, I have the Iron Bundle. Uh, I can also bring a Talonflame and I can bring Great Tusk. Yes, 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 yes. Uh, I can potentially outspeed the um, the Lilligant with Iron Bundle if I get Tailwind up. Yeah, and that's fine. Uh, and then we have to bring Bramble Ghast because that's just kind of the only Pokemon for me. Yeah. So everything that I just said about uh, neglecting to bring a Pokemon so that, you know, we can win the game, it... it falls flat when you look at the the Pokemon that the team is about. This team right now for me is about a Bramble Ghast. This is my story and I write it. And Bramble Ghast is the main character. <clears throat> okay. So the sad thing, the problem, I should say, that I have right now is that this Iron Bundle <laughs> And deal with a Torkoal. <laughs> oh, why didn't I think of that? That's okay. I feel like I should Icy Wind. No, I should... I'm going to protect. I'm going to protect this turn. I'm going to Tailwind. Terra Ghost doesn't help me. Taunt would, but it's too fast right now. So I have to Tailwind. I have to hope that they're trying to target the Iron Bundle with the Lilligant. And I need to Tailwind, because next turn I can taunt the Lilligant and just, you know, forget everything. Perfect. I love that Torkoal just went for went for Protect. That was the whole reason that I went for Protect on Iron Bundle in the first place, is that if it chose to go for an attack, 
it would do big damage to my offices. That's perfect. Look at that. Look at that. It would have done big damage to my iron bundle and to my uh, uh, talon flame. I don't have the names in front of me as well. Um, but now I don't even need to freeze dry. What I need to do is just encore the Torkoal into protecting and taunt the Lilligant into doing that. There we go. So now, good job. Good job. Go for your protect. I love that. I love that for you. Please hit me with more of them. And then I'm going to hit the Lilligant with the taunt. It tried to sleep powder me last turn. It missed. Oops, Mr. Shot can't use the after you. It just, just doesn't work. It just doesn't work. <laughs> Wonderful. I truly this time do feel bonita. We're going to attack with a brave, bur a brave burst, brave bird here. Uh, I can attack into the Lilligant slot. What did I just do on the on the Iron Bundle? Icy Wind? I don't care about Icy Wind. No, let's freeze dry. Mm, yeah, so we we attack the Lilligant because Torkoal is about to protect. We're going to Brave Bird the Lilligant. Someone's about to take a Brave Bird and a... Oh, that Fluttermane is not going to have a happy day. <laughs> Here comes a protect from the from the Torkoal. Special attack was heightened, but not for long. Oh, they're going to withdraw the Torkoal as well. Yeah, that makes sense. Uh, to bring out the King Gambit. That's fine. I don't mind trying to burn that next turn. It really does depend on what comes out beside the King Gambit. Beautiful. So we've done major damage. We've taken out a whole Pokemon without having to worry about anything. Now, is it going to be Lilligant, Torkoal, or somebody else? It's going to be Lilligant. Okay. Now, we can outspeed the Lilligant with, um, with Talonflame. And that's exactly what we're going to do. I am going to taunt it again. I protected this turn because I don't want my Iron Bundle to take damage. Uh, but taunting this Lilligant is going to be very good for me. Oh, okay. Then that's actually perfect. This is might be a prediction from the from the opponent here, knowing that I would go for a protect and a taunt. Uh, we would know that if the King Gambit goes for an attack on my Talon Flame. Nope, they went for a half measure. They went for a half measure. So now what I can do is I can encore. Ah, I guess I can't because that's. Oh, no, actually, they've. Uh, that, was a, that was a good play, wasn't it? If one of the Pokemon goes to sleep here. I'm pretty sure my iron bundle does not outspeed right now. If I freeze dry the Lilligant and I Will-O-Wisp the King Gambit. If they put Talonflame to sleep, Iron Bundle's about to do a bajillion damage to the Lilligant. If they put the Iron Bundle to sleep, the King Gambit gets burned, and I'm a happy boy. I think I'm gonna be a happy boy. They're gonna go for a Leaf Storm on the Iron Bundle. They're gonna try and take it out. That makes sense, sure, that's fine. Special attack's gonna harshly fall. I can afford to lose Iron Bundle here. The Will-O-Wisp on the King Gambit is good. It gives me the opportunity to go for potentially a Brave Bird. Oh, well, perfect, actually. Now that <laughs> now that the sun has faded, my Talon Flame's just faster. Just a faster, faster boy. I'm going to save the Bramble Gast for later. We're sending out Great Tusk. Hmm. So we have we have our options right now. I could use Headlong Rush to well, OK, hold on, hold on. King Gambit's not King Gambit can't touch my Great Tusk. Lilligant can, I suppose. So maybe I should try and take that out. It might protect. If I try and take that out, hmm, what's Headlong Rush? Change my, change my mind. 
Let's head long rush. We will also go for a taunt just in case. Yeah, and that's why we went for the headlong rush, because they can choose to send out the Torkoal, which I will outspeed, not outspeed, because of the drought. That's smart. That's smart. I still get my Protosynthesis boost, though, so that's pretty nice. The Sleep Powder misses again. Oh, that's a bad one to miss. And now you're never... <laughs> my opponent's never going to play this game again. Here comes the headlong rush. Ba-boom. <laughs> now, if that... <laughs> if that was asleep, then uh, then they would have been very happy. But right now, they've got a taunted Lilligant without the ability to leave. And a uh, King Gambit sitting on the field. Now, this is absolutely going to be one of those games that YouTube is going to be like... Or the YouTube comments are going to be like, Yo, that second game, though, what? <laughs> and I'm ready for it. I'm here for it. So for those asking why I didn't go for close combat and why I went for headlong rush since close combat is times four and a headlong rush is times two on King Gambit, that was why, because they had the chance to send out What's-His-Face instead, Torkoal. Uh, so now I can just go for a close combat. I can go for a tailwind, I guess. No, I'll go for a Brave Bird. We're just trying to take out... Yeah, the battle was canceled. <laughs> if you miss two if you miss two sleep powders, the game is over. Like I'm sorry to say, but that's just kind of how it is, right? Uh, anyway, that's, that's fun. <laughs> that's a fun second game. I didn't even get to bring out Bramblegast. <laughs> no, where's my Bramblegast love? All right. Uh, maybe in game three, game three, there will be justice for Bramblegast in game three. All right. Uh, come with me and you'll see a world of pure Bramblegastination. Uh, let's go. And our redemption battle is going to be against Jared. Our redemption for game one, I guess, but... Really, it's against a Lilico again, so you know, it's it's redemption, but in a in a way that is palatable, right? Because we can just do this again. We can just win it again and have a good time. Now with Lilligant and Torkoal there, uh, I'm already knowing that I need to bring I guess Iron Bundle and uh, a Great Tusk. I'm knowing that I can't bring the Sylveon one more time. It just it just doesn't work here. But the Great Tusk works a lot. If I lead with Talonflame and Great Tusk, and I bring Bramble Gas later, what if I just bring Tyranitar? Wait a minute. What if I don't bring Iron Bundle at all? I don't have anything to deal with the Dragonite. Yes, I do. I have the Tyranitar. I don't have anything to deal with the Lilligant. Yes, I do. I have the Talonflame. Yeah, I just bring the Tyranitar and I get rid of the get rid of the Sun. Yeah, okay. And then sometimes they just don't bring Lilligant and Torkoal at all because they because we have weather. We have weather on our side. So let's just hope that this is going to be fine. So this dude's going to be sending out King Gambit and Great Tusk, which is fine for me, because I have two Pokemon that can deal with King Gambit and Great Tusk. Now, in fact, I feel like going for a Tailwind here is almost unnecessary. I feel like a Will-O-Wisp on the Great Tusk does so much more. But I'm also pretty certain that Great Tusk will outspeed the Talonflame. No, it won't. There we go. Uh, and then Headlong Rush I can do on to... I could also Ice Spinner, couldn't I? No, let's try and take out the guy. If we're going to do it, we're going to do it on King Gambit. And we're going to hit a four times weakness, not a two times weakness. Just kidding. They're going to tear into flying. Who's Terra flying? King Gambit. No, that's a t okay. Well, I guess a headlong rush would have been better then. Hey, that is a rock slide. I don't like that. That is a rock slide, and it's faster. Wait a minute, what? Talonflame. 
Talonflame sits at 126 speed. Oh, this is Choice Scarfed. Oh. Okay. Well, hold on. We can deal with that. Well, now we know that it it just rock slide did rock slid slid the rocks. I'm sad that I didn't get Tailwind up now because I didn't get a turn to do it. But uh, I guess we'll go into Horurba. Knowing that there's going to be a rock slide, we have that. I am going to protect, however, because I'm worried that the King Gambit, knowing that this is going to be its last turn on Earth, is going to hit a Sucker Punch on my on my Bramble Ghast. So I'm going to go for the same thing. Uh, headlong Rush into King Gambit. Oh, it's not going to do that. It's just going to accept its fate. Okay. Works for me. It doesn't do that much damage at all to my Great Tusk. I'm my Great Tusk flinches. <laughs> <laughs> so upset at that. Uh, that seems to confirm for me, though, that King Gambit does not have Sucker Punch for whatever reason. They just chose not to do it. Uh, so I'm going to seed uh, bullet seed the Great Tusk. Yes, and headlong rush the King Gambit. Yeah. All right, fine. So you have a Sucker Punch. That don't impress me much. Let's go for the Bullet Seed on the Great Tusk. Oh, that's damage. Two hits. Three hits. Uh, I'm definitely getting four. Do I get five? Five is a KO. Yes. Bramble Gast. Bramble Gast. Bramble Gast. Sir, you're amazing. You're fantastic. I love you. Okay, so is it going to be uh, Lilicol coming out now? If it's Lilicol coming out right now. Hmm. I mean, I have a way to turn off the turn off the sun, but they're not actually going to be doing that. They're going to be bringing out the Dragonite. Dragonite and Fluttermane. It's fine. It makes me want to uh, terastalize here and go for a shadow sneak. But I don't, I feel like I don't live. Mm. Hold on. Dragonite might go for an extreme speed into Great Tusk. Fluttermane probably going to go for a Dazzling Gleam into the two. Could even go for a Shadow Ball into into the Horror Air Ball. So I'm going to attack into the Flutter Main, and I'm going to protect. I think this is right. And then they're probably going to Terastalize here. They're probably going to Terastalize, uh, I would assume, the Flutter Main. But it could be the Dragonite into normal, but they're not going to terrestrialize. Did they already? Yeah, so Dragonite's going to extreme speed, but that's going to hit the protection. Yep. So here comes a Shadow Sneak. I just wanted to do half damage. Yeah, that's great. So Fluttermane's going to hit Dazzling Gleam. That's going to be not very effective on my Bramble Cast. Of course. I can't catch a break with that. <laughs> but you know what? That's okay. I can send out the Dragonite. Uh, sorry, I said Dragonite. That's Tyranitar. And I can hit him with, I guess, a Rock Slide. I don't really... Uh, actually, my Tyranitar might live through this. I have Assault Vest and I'm in the sand. Uh, if the Dragonite decides to target my... Yeah, 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 yeah. If the Dragonite decides to target the Tyranitar, then Great Tusk takes it down. 
but it's not. It's going to target the Great Tusk, which is fine. It means now I have the chance to actually attack the Dragonite. Because look at this. The Dazzling Gleam is going to go off. It's not going to do... Okay, so it did, it did good damage, but it did not bring me down. So now Fluttermane goes down. Dragonite's still up. If that was multi-scale, then the next Rock Slide is going to take it out. Uh, if it wasn't multi-scale, the next Rock Slide is going to take it out anyway. So now I just need this Dragonite to not have the means to KO my Tyranitar, and it does not. It does not. Don't miss. Okay. Okay. There we go. Hey, that was a great game. That was an awesome game. Managed to take out a Fluttermane and a Dragonite. My Bramblegast actually got some relevant action in there. Bullet Seed on that Great Tusk. Did you see that? Did you see that? I would run it back, but I don't want to I don't want to go and edit that. So you'll just have to go back to whatever timestamp that was. I'm gonna need you to timestamp that in the comments, by the way. Please do. Uh, but meanwhile, let's go into the lab. Let's go and talk about this team a little while, and then we'll get you out for the day. Okay? Come on, let's go. And here is the team from Michael, as so it says there, but uh, not not this one. But you know what? We're brothers now. Uh, Dr. Drosel and I are now brothers uh, because this team is amazing. All right. We've got Talonflame, Bramblegast, Tyranitar, Iron Bundle, Sylveon and Great Tusk. Let's start with the Sylveon because I never brought the Sylveon. And I, I do think it, it warrants some talking about. All right. So it's got the fairy typing with the pixelate. So Hyper Voice, Quick Attack and Terra Blast are all going to be fairy type unless you go into Rastalize into uh, fire, in which case your Terra Blast is going to be fire type. But uh, Sylveon does a ton of damage, okay? You have the Pixelate up, uh, you have the Throat Spray that increases your special attack after you use your Hyper Voice that one time, uh, and then you can just go to town. You, you hit Terra Blasts left, right, and center. You hit Quick Attacks when the Pokemon are at low HP. You get that, pri uh, that priority move in there to get rid of things like uh, Focus Sash. It is a good Pokemon to use. I personally don't find too many options to use it unless you're going up against say like a roaring moon or a great tusk actually a great tusk is a great reason to go and use that maybe you have more reasons to go and use your sylveon um, and if so by all means go and use your sylveon you're going to go and get some wins that way let's go and talk about great tusk though headlong uh, rush ice spinner close combat and protect personally i like this great tusk set over things like assault vest on great tusk i would rather if it's going to get hit by something that's going to take it out like a special attack uh i would rather it go down to one and then have the the option to go for protect the next turn i think it's it's special attack is just or special defense rather is just so too is it, it's too low for assault best but that's the prevailing set that i've seen on it uh headlong rush ice spinner close combat are all great moves if you have focus ash anyway you don't have to worry about the defenses going down uh because the next turn you're just hitting protect anyway or trying to outspeed it uh, with your Talonflame. <clears throat> Talonflame with Tailwind, Brave Bird, Will-O-Wisp, and Taunt. It's a very, very fast Pokemon, uh, especially with Gale Wings setting up uh, Tailwind and Brave Bird if you need to. Um, you, you set up your team quite well by going for Tailwinds there. Uh, Will-O-Wisp and Taunt are great control moves as well, so you can use that on opposing Great Tusks to try and uh, bring the damage down, opposing King Gambits to try and bring the damage down. Um, especially because King Gambits usually run Defiant these days. You don't want, uh, you, you, you don't really want a Pokemon that can boost the King Gambit or the uh, Annihilate. Just watch out for Terra Fire, because that's the one thing that will counter your, your Will O' Wisp. Now, the whole reason that you're setting up Tailwind in the first place is so that your Bramblegast can go and get the Wind Rider uh, ability up. Wind Rider, of course, uh, increases your attack and makes you immune to all kinds of wind moves. Now, that is that can be quite relevant because it is a grass type going up against things like Pelipper with Hurricane or any Pokemon with Hurricane, really. Uh, it's immune to that. It just doesn't work. Uh, there are a handful of other moves and some that are actually usable, um, but they all just don't work on Bramblegast, right? It increases its attack by one as well, and then it has the loaded dice to make the bullet seed uh, hit four to five times. And you saw just how powerful a bullet seed from a Bramblegast can be. Uh, it's just a great, great move. And the fact that it has a priority move as well in Shadow Sneak um, really makes it quite versatile, right? You saw in that last battle there how well it dealt with uh, both Great Tusk and Fluttermane, two Pokemon that are seen all over the meta right now. It, uh, it deals with them quite well. 
Uh, Tyranitar with Assault Vest and Sandstream, those two combinations there, um, Sandstream and Assault Vest on a rock type, make it so that Tyranitar can live so, so much. You saw in that last game again, how Tyranitar against the uh, Flutter main, uh, that went and used a single target Dazzling Gleam, only dealt about half damage to it. Because the Sand, having the Sandstorm up, increases your special defense by 50%, and the Assault Vest also increases your special defense by 50%. So you are a uh, absolute tank. Rock Slide, Crunch, and Low Kick, they do a ton of damage already. You have the Terra Flying in case you ever need to get out of the Rock type. Uh, but I will say that do remember that by going for that, I believe you also lose your rock type defensiveness, right? So you're now weak to Sandstorm, or rather it will do damage to you as well as uh, the fact that you are now susceptible to more uh, special attacks. And then last but not least, we've got Iron Bundle. I've been talking for so long, uh, my switch is probably about to turn off. Uh, Iron Bundle with Quark Drive, Booster Energy, Protect, Freeze Dry, Icy Wind, and Encore. You saw there how Encore is just a beast of a move. Uh, when a Pokemon is not, uh, when you catch somebody sleeping, really, when they use a Protect, when they use a Reflect, when they use a what's another thing that has Act at the end of the name, I don't know. Um, when they use any of those of those moves, you just Encore, you lock them into it, and you, you just have the field. <laughs> the field is yours. Congratulations. Uh, Iron Bundle is a great Pokemon. This one doesn't have any water type moves. It doesn't have Hydro Pump, which I see a lot of Iron Bundles have. But the downside to the Hydro Pump is that sometimes it misses. So, you know, it having all of these moves that ha have a higher chance to hit, uh, not quite guaranteed if you're looking at like Icy Wind, um, it's sometimes better, honestly. Uh, so I, I respect the Iron Bundle for not having a water type move on it. The only only critique I would give on that is just that with your Iron Bundle's ice moves and your Great Tusk's ice moves, you already have a lot of ice presence on this. Um, however, Freeze Dry does deal with a whole different element as well. So there is that to keep in mind uh, when you're when you're building teams like this. So it works. It does work. Uh, I would like to see some water presence here if possible. Uh, personally, if I were to switch anything out, it would probably be the Sylveon into something that uh, has a little bit more coverage uh, into something that can deal with uh, some of the some of the elements that this team is is missing. Um, just really quick, I'm not seeing any fire type moves, which I guess would just be the, the fire Terra. Anyway, eh, whatever you can, you can think of it yourself. I'm uh, I don't know, there's also the Bramble guest with Terra Fire, Terra Blast. Maybe I'm wrong anyway. Go and give the Sylveon a try. Maybe I didn't give Sylveon enough credit. Anyway, folks, thank you so much for watching this. Uh, if you enjoyed, please make sure to go and give a thumbs up and talk about it in the comments because Kevin and I, we respond to most of them. Uh, this was a fun time. I really like Bramblecast. It's a fun Pokemon. Um, I've been Mike. I play with two Pokemon on the field and I will see you later. Bye-bye.